The Super Mario Bros. movie from Illumination is finally here, so let's see if this new animated film is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. With help from Princess Peach, Mario gets ready to square off against the all-powerful Bowser to stop his plans from conquering the world. I'm sure with every review that you see on YouTube, someone will say that I played Mario growing up. So. I'm not gonna go in depth with all of that because I did play Mario growing up. And I would say that Super Mario 64 is my favorite video game of all time. I played that constantly. So we're just gonna leave it at that. But I've been looking forward to a Mario film for quite some time. When I learned that Illumination was the company that would create a Mario film, I was a little bit hesitant because I'm not fond of all of their movies from Secret Life of Pets to Sing to the Minions films, the Spickle of Me. I think they're decent at best. Not one has stood out as one of the best animated films I have ever seen. So going into Super Mario Bros. movie, I was a little bit worried and excited at the same time because I do love Nintendo and Mario as well and Luigi and all the characters in the Mushroom Kingdom. We have an all-star cast in here which includes Chris Pratt as Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Jack Black as Bowser, Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, Charlie Day as Luigi, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. The cast in here at times has raised some eyebrows, especially when it comes to Chris Pratt as Mario, but I think he did a really good job in here, bringing in his own style. Uh, what we know for Chris Pratt is very familiar in here, but he brings his own style as Mario and it really does work. They do acknowledge the accent within the film. I thought Chris Pratt was delightful as Mario. Charlie Day is very fun as Luigi. Jack Black is awesome as Bowser. Menacing at times, but also very fun. And Anya Taylor-Joy impresses me for Peach, as she feels very confident, but also what I would know for Princess Peach. So the voice acting in here, I thought worked, despite having some moments uh, prior to the film, uh, worried about the cast, and they were just casting a-list celebrities to possibly sell this movie, I do think that they overall worked within the film. The plot of this film is quite simple, and I understand the criticism behind this movie with a thin plot for this movie as it's really simple as we see Mario teaming up with Princess Peach to stop Bowser and also rescuing Luigi as well. When you look at the video games, Mario doesn't talk and it's from point A to point B. Sometimes it's an open world game. Whatever game it is, it's a very simple story. So taking a character within a video game that's already simple and adapting it into a film, you're gonna have to add new elements, but the story itself felt very simple, which I felt was mirroring some of the video games as well. The Mario games are not in-depth video games. Uh, I play them as a kid. My daughter is starting to get into them as well. They're meant to be simple and fun. And that's what I viewed this movie as, is a simple, fun movie with a really thin plot that really isn't exploring too much. There's not a lot of character development, but it is relying on some of the references and Easter eggs and the characters as well to deliver this really entertaining film. There's little time for character development or moments that feel emotional for these characters. It's just really thin at best. Exploring different parts of the Mushroom Kingdom felt very rushed. When you look at Princess Peach trying to recruit the Kongs or Bowser's world as well, locations set forth within this movie felt like they were just brushed over, but it was still cool to see them. And the animation looks really good as well. The character designs match the video game style. All the references and Easter eggs that you see in the movie are bright and nicely designed. If you are a fan of the Mario games, you'll see a little things here and there that you point out and it's very exciting to see all of that and things that I saw from classic Mario games or most recent Mario games as well put a huge smile on my face I am someone that loves Easter eggs and references to other properties or things within the film and the video games as well so seeing references to classic Mario games and games that I grew up as a kid 
I love seeing all of that. And at times it did feel like it was just a checklist. Uh, the reliance on the Easter eggs and references, like they wanted to check off certain uh, moments. They wanted to check off certain video games to have in this film, but I absolutely loved it. And the score as well. It brings forth so many different scores from the classic Mario games. At times it's quiet as they're exploring different parts of the Mushroom Kingdom. When it's action packed, it's bringing in some more of the thrilling scores. The way that they mix it into the movie, it was exciting. And when we introduced to Donkey Kong, having his score and the rap from Donkey Kong 64, I absolutely love that. So I did recognize certain scores from different games in the film. And I thought that was a highlight of the film for me. And the action in here is a lot of fun as well. I said it's a very simple story, but you do get some lengthy action scenes uh, when it comes to Donkey Kong against Mario or Rainbow Road. Those moments uh, do provide some really fun moments within the film. I think a lot of that is geared towards a younger audience. Typical illumination humor is put forth within this movie, but it's still fun to see uh, those moments with Rainbow Road from Mario Kart and Donkey Kong against Mario. That was moments I appreciated despite uh, some of the gags in there as well. I thought it was fun that it captured some of the characters' unique abilities and the power-ups as well. So overall, Super Mario Bros. movie was a lot of fun. The references in here at times can be distracting for people that want to see a developed story, but I think that the fan service and the animation and those Easter eggs made me very excited and I loved seeing and that put a smile on my face. I understand the criticism of a really simple story, but if you look at the video games, they're simple as well. You're not gonna get an in-depth look at Mario and Luigi and Princess Peach and all of those characters, even though the voice acting is a lot of fun. You're not gonna get a lot of character development for these characters, but I still think this is a highly entertaining movie with a pace that's really good for a family getting straight to the point, the score, the references, the jokes, the animation, the voice acting, all around really fun. I enjoyed this movie for what it was. I knew going into it, I wasn't going to get a really deep story focusing on the Mushroom Kingdom and Mario against Bowser. What I got is a simple story that understood the video games what I got is a film from creators who felt like they have played the video games. When you get video game adaptations, you feel like certain people that created the film have never played those video games. I have an understanding of that brand. I don't feel that way within this film. From all those little references and even the score, the people in here did their homework. They played the video games and it showed in this film. I think fans of the video game will love all of the references and the story as well, but if you want to critique this movie, I understand those criticisms with the story and it being very thin. So before I give you my score for the Super Mario Bros. movie, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give the Super Mario Bros. movie a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review of the Super Mario Bros. movie. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy too.